Hi gorgeous and a very happy Frugal Friday to you. If you are new and this is the first video you've seen from me, welcome. This is my Frugal Fridays series focusing on drugstore makeup that publishes every single Friday. So please subscribe and you'll always be notified about new videos in the future. Today I'm testing out a bunch of makeup from Ross. I've passed by the makeup displays in Ross stores before. I never really gave it a second thought, but so many of you have been asking me, is there anything there that's worth checking out? So I visited about three different stores to find what I'm sharing with you today. I'll let you know the good, the bad, and the ugly, because we got some ugly going on here today. Goodies! Okay, what is the first goodie I have to share with you? <laughs> I found this enormous eyeshadow palette from Beauty Treats. Look at the size of this thing. I mean, it's as big as two hands. This was $7.99 at Ross. Looks like there are a variety of different finishes in here, ranging from shimmers to mattes, and I really liked the color selection that they had in this palette. I hope that they are as good as the previous Beauty Treats eyeshadow palettes I tried. Do you remember those little ones I duped with the Viseart palettes? Same exact company makes this one. I'm gonna zoom you in here, Woo! and think about what kind of eye look I want to make. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna take this shade right here as my crease color and begin to apply it like that. Look at that pigmentation. Yes. I don't have much on the brush either. Ooh, I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. Let me put a little bit more on the brush there and blend it a little more. Ooh, I'm liking this. I'm shook. Is that what they're saying these days? Look at me trying to be cool. That's a really beautiful brown in the crease there too. I love that color. I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade right here. It looks like a peach, mm, yeah, I was, I was gonna say pink, but it's not really pink, it's almost peach. I'm gonna blend out the edges of that brown up towards the brow bone there. Okay. Loving it so far. And then I'm gonna apply my cranberry shade. Mm -hmm. That one right there. Right on the lid. That's not as dark as the first two shades were as far as pigmentation goes, but it's pretty good. It's a light cranberry. <laughs> there are tiny little sparkles in this eyeshadow too. They're not really showing up. They're more or less going all over my face right here. And then I'm gonna take the dark brown right here beside that cranberry shade. Just experimenting here. I don't know how this is gonna come out. We'll see, we'll find out together. I'm putting this on the outer corner. Hmm. Quality is diminishing with these last two eyeshadows. First two are really good, but these last two are a little mm, disappointing. A lot of fallout here too, as you can see. But that's okay, we will fix it when we get to foundation. Right now, we're gonna move on to, let's see, what other products do I have here to share with you? Brows, okay. I found this kit from Jasmine LaBelle Cosmetics, and it looks like it's just a complete brow kit. How much did I pay? $6.99 from Ross. It did not specify if it was light, medium, or dark, but if you look at the picture on the back of the box, right there. It looks like you get a variety to choose from based on what you need. So they give you a pair of tweezers, a brow mascara, a brush, and a spoolie, and then this little palette with the product in it. I just dented it when I opened it. Oops. It looks pretty dark. Pretty dark. Look at that. Oof. I'm going to attempt <laughs> to use this shade over here. I'm using the little angled brush that they gave me as part of this kit here and applying it. It is so dark, my goodness. Brush is nice that they give you to work with, but my gosh, ah, I'm just gonna roll with it. Just understand we are testing cosmetics here. No shame in our game. Then we're gonna take our little spoolie that they gave us here and blend it so it's not so harsh. What I will tell you is despite it not being a color match, the formula is really good. So if you had a color match in this brow product, it's one that's worth checking out. 
Moving on to the face. Okay, I found a contour and highlight palette also from Beauty Treats. And it says that there are cream foundations in here as well as, what else was in here? Highlighters. Yeah, highlighters and foundation colors. Now, you know, I don't think I'm gonna be able to find a match within this palette. I can pretty much guarantee I'm not gonna find a match, but what I am gonna do is test the formula out. So if I look a little crazy, hang in there with me, okay? So I'm using a really dense brush to pick some of this cream foundation up mm. and apply it like that. You know, I'm surprised. I have to say I'm really surprised because you never find a match in these um, discount stores. I may be speaking too soon though. I may be speaking way too soon. Whoa, but the formula is just sitting on top of the skin. It's not blending in as well as I would like for it to. I am going to attempt to save this with a sponge after I get it applied onto the skin to see if I can soften it a little bit. But right now it's, it's just, it's a mess. <laughs> like I said, I'm gonna attempt to save it. I don't know if we'll be able to save it, but we're gonna try. I did find this pack of sponges at Ross. What was this? It was $2.99, I think. Is that right? Yes. And they are from BioSwiss very similar to the ones I found at Five Below. And they do have a dupe for that posh sponge that I love so much. So I've already dampened this one. And I'm gonna use it to try and save this foundation. Oh no, it's making it worse. Let's just not go with this foundation. No, let's take it off because there are other products I wanna apply on top and I'm afraid that this foundation is going to affect how those products perform. At least this way too, you'll get to see how these sponges really perform because they are real good, especially for the price. I also picked up this brush from W7. This brush was $8.99 and it's made for powder application. Meant to be a dupe for those Artiste oval brushes. So I'm going to use the CoverGirl Outlast powder with this guy. So we'll just sweep it lightly on the skin. Ooh, it's very soft. Whoa, I like it a lot. You can see the application is really nice with it too. It makes me feel so expensive, but I only paid nine bucks. I like this brush. I don't want to stop using it. Moving on. All right, last product I have to share with you and test out is a set of matte lip glosses. These are from Beauty Moment, and they are all nude shades. One kind of got shifted in there, but there are six of them, or five, because one got shoplifted. <laughs> I thought it had just shifted to the back, but um, nope. Somebody stole my lipstick. I'm gonna swatch a couple of these on my hand first so you can get an idea of the formula here. I'm using the lightest one that came out of that package first, and we'll apply it. Stop focusing on me, camera. Focus on my hand. Hmm, not too bad. Okay, I'm gonna take the Dusty Mauve one right here and apply that. <laughs> okay, I lost my applicator. How the heck am I supposed to get that out of there now? Ah! <laughs> it's still in there. I guess I'm just gonna take a little bit of this <laughs> on the tip here and apply it like that. That's a shame too, because that's a really nice color. I'm gonna have to figure this one out. Application is nice despite my not having an applicator tip to apply it. <laughs> I found the formula to be very creamy on the lips. See if it dries down completely. They're supposed to be matte. Oh my, look at that. That's if I just press my lips together. Ooh, what happened? We'll do a quick recap for you here. The Beauty Treats eyeshadow palette left a lot to be desired. Initially, I thought that it was gonna have great pigmentation, but you can see my eyes here, how much they have faded already. And I haven't even had this eyeshadow on for a total of 20 minutes at this point. That was a major fail for me. So I'd say skip this one. The <laughs> foundation and highlighter palette, I don't recommend it at all. You saw how horrible the application was. There are much better affordable foundations out there. I used the one from Wet n Wild's Photo Focus line today and I love it. So yes, save your money on this little guy. 
The brow kit was actually pretty good, if you can find a color match. I did like the formula. I liked how easy it was to blend. It does look rather natural on the brows, if you could find a color match in the line. This brush, this brush for powder, you have to get it if you can find it. I loved it. The sponges, another really great investment too, if you can find these. 24 sponges for three bucks. You really can't beat that. Am I missing anything? Lips. Okay now, I had to go back and reapply that. Um, I really, really want to love these, I do, but I'm a little disappointed, a lot disappointed, to see that the applicator tip fell off into the lipstick and to see how horribly they <laughs> disintegrated when I pressed my lips together. Now I haven't pressed my lips together since I applied a little bit more, but you can already see right here on my top lip, See that? It's starting to chip away. And again, I haven't even had that on for five minutes after I applied the second layer, so. <laughs> Let me know what you thought about the products I shared with you today, or if you have found any really excellent makeup finds from your local Ross stores. I wanna thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I look forward to seeing you again next time.